Hi everyone. I am excited to let you know about the second webinar series that I'm going to be providing. They're going to be happening live in October of 2022 on Thursday nights from 6 to 7 Pacific Standard Time. And that's in the evening. And also that if you have to miss any of the sessions or can't come to them when they are live, then you can certainly order them from my website, rachelbernsteintherapy.com. There's also going to be a question and answer period at the end, and if you don't have a chance to have your question answered by me during that time, you can send me your question still, and I will send you a recording of the answer straight to you, a personalized response. So, this is for the families and friends of those who are in situations where they're really worried about their loved one. The, they feel their loved one is being controlled either by a partner, by mm, a situation, mm, by a group, by a cult, mm, by being trafficked. I mean, there are so many situations where people feel they've lost their loved one and they're very concerned about them. And they feel also that they've lost a sense of being able to communicate with them in the same sort of way. Like the ways that worked before don't somehow work now. And they worry that if they handle it wrong, they're gonna blow maybe their only chance to try to intervene. And they're worried also that if they handle it wrong, they're gonna push their loved one farther away. There are a lot of family and friends and spouses and others, children of people who are in situations they're concerned about, who feel like they've blown it. They feel like they've handled it in a way that's quote unquote wrong. And so now they've lost their opportunity to connect with their loved one and to try to intervene. We're gonna talk about how to redo that, how to be able to, if possible, reclaim communication and hit a reset button. So you come across like a safe person again, because there's a nuanced and different way of approaching these conversations. And I'll let you know about them. What's also important that's gonna be part of this talk is how you take care of you. It's hard to be the loved one of someone in this situation because sometimes you can be judged, sometimes you could be feeling isolated, oftentimes you're exhausted, you might be having conflicted feelings, you might be angry, you might be sad, you might be worried. And is it okay to take care of yourself? Is that being selfish? So we're gonna address all about the need for you to take care of you and how to make sure you do that so you have the strength to intervene on behalf of your loved one. I look forward to seeing you there.